Hi, Dr. Sean. Hello. All right, let's talk about women in cycles. Okay. What's normal and what's not? You know, it, it's interesting. You see any more um, with, with cycling and, and fertility in general because it kind of all goes hand in hand. Uh, it's much, much, much more common today to see infertility and fertility issues and cyclic issues. Uh, whether you have heavy menstrual cycles, extreme cramping, um, scant menstrual cycles, or skipping periods, all these things occur uh, today. I think much more frequently than they, ever, than they ever did. And the reason for it goes back to our environment and our diet. Now there's mechanical things that can be involved and we see those all the time in practice, but the real keys are the changes in our overall dietary shift. We've gone away from eating natural. We've left that alone. We don't follow kind of off the farm food any longer like we once did before in the past. Now everything is very, very processed. It's man-made, it's quick fix, and it's nutrient depleted. So when you start seeing young ladies that are having trouble regulating cycles, having normal cycles, having fertility issues, you always, and I mean always, look at fat and fatty acids in the diet. If the body doesn't have enough digestible fat, usable fat in the diet, it gets in trouble. Now here's the kicker, not all fat is good fat. We've seen in the past several years you have hydrogenated oils or partially hydrogenated oils. All your fake oils, your margarines and things of this nature, your canola, your weed oils, those aren't good oils for the body. It can't build the hormones it needs from those to make the hormones it needs to produce reproduction to regulate cycles, to regulate adrenal function in your ovaries, so the body gets in trouble. So what about, there's a lot of birth control pills now where you can skip cycles. So in your opinion, is that something women can do or is it not healthy? And again, you go back to the idea that mother nature made you in a way to cycle rhythmically. You're supposed to do it every 28 to 30 days on a calendar clock, boom, 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 like a clock. If you start interfering with this, you start hampering how this works and the only way to do that is chemically. You have to put chemicals in that interfere with normal body function. When you do that, now you're kind of playing God a little bit in my opinion. You start interfering with that mechanism and so the potential for having problems down the road when you want that to regulate itself back to normal and turn back on goes up exponentially. Is there any link between birth controls and cancers and things like that? Because technically it's kind of a hormone replacement therapy, you know, isn't it? It is, it is, and it's a weak version of it, but yes, there absolutely is. All of your birth control pills, your depo shots, all the things that women do, they all come with warnings that your increased likelihood for stroke, blood clots, heart attack, different types of cancer all go up. Every one of them do, because again, you're stopping normal body function and you're interfering with normal body processes. There's lovely, lovely ways you can help the body rebalance normal. There's a million things you can do to get people's life back in order. It's when you try to tweak it and interfere with it chemically that we get into trouble. So what would you do in practice if a woman came to you and she wasn't cycling regularly? You always examine. It starts with examine, examine, examine. You do a 24-hour UA to see what the body's holding on to and what it's throwing away. My big key is I'm looking to see are you using that fat? And if you're using the fat, are you digesting and absorbing it? Just putting it in sometimes isn't enough. You have to be able to use it and digest it and absorb it. Now once that's done, then you go through and you examine the body to say, okay, where is it being pushed the hardest? Are there little tells or giveaways? Are you fatigued? When you stand up, does your blood pressure drop? Do you fall asleep at night but not stay there? Do you have cold hands and feet or moist hands and feet? All these things tell you something. So you start there. You nourish the body then. You follow the example and the, the signs you see when you're examining and you nourish the body. Another thing I like to do then, I bring acupuncture into it. Acupuncture is designed to regulate body energy. Bring it back online and get it normal. If you re-regulate that energy and you get the body firing things normally, cyclic problems, endometrial problems, infertility issues, birthing issues, all these things can be influenced and improved. It's that simple. All right. Thank you, Dr. Sean. Thank you.